Large language models have their own limitations. They are not up to date, as they have only trained on data for a certain period. For example, GPT-4 has the knowledge cutoff of April 2023. If you ask questions outside of their training data, they will either state they don't know and cite their training cutoff, or they might hallucinate. Also, LLMs are trained for generalized tasks and lack domain-specific knowledge, such as your own data. Now, how can you improve the performance and efficiency of large language models? Well, you can train your own foundational model or fine-tune an existing LLM, but these are expensive and require a lot of resources. This is where Retrieval Augmented Generation comes in handy, which allows us to search through a large corpus of data to find relevant information. It also enables the pulling in of real-time information from external sources, making it more adaptable to new information. This information can be utilized by LLMs as a context in answering the questions or generating a text. In this tutorial, let's build a generative question answering system with retrieval augmentation. The generative question answering system requires nothing more than a text query from a user and a large language model. We take the user's query as a question, which is then answered by the LLM. In this case, the LLM responds to the question based on the information it extracts from the vector store, treating it as context. We will implement this using Langchain and Clarify. Langchain is a framework built around LLMs. You can use it for chatbots, generative question answering, summarization, and much more. And Clarify provides a full-stack AI platform to help you quickly and collaboratively get vision, language, and audio AI into production. And the three key components for building a RAG system are the embedding models, LLMs, and a vector database. Clarify provides all three in a single platform, seamlessly allowing you to build RAG systems. Let's jump directly into the notebook and see a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the implementation. First, let's install Langchain and Clarify via the pip command. Now you need to obtain your personal access token from Clarify in order to access the LLMs and Vector Store. To create a new personal access token, sign up for Clarify, or if you already have an account, log into the portal. Click on your profile icon in the top right corner and select the security option under Settings. Now create a new personal access token by giving a token description and selecting the scopes. Copy the token and pass it here. Next, let's import the required modules from Langchain. Text loader to load data from the source as documents. Character text splitter to split the text into chunks. Also import clarify vector store from langchain.vectorstores. Now let's pre-process the document. Here I have the 2023 State of the Union report as the text file. I am loading the file using text loader and splitting the document into chunks. Given the chunk size as 1000 and making sure there is no overlapping and chunking by setting chunk overlap to zero. Chunking is the process of breaking down large pieces of text into smaller segments, and it helps optimize the relevance of the content we get back from a vector database. If our chunks are too small or too large, it may lead to imprecise search results. Let's run it. Here is how the first four documents look after chunking. Now let's create a new application in Clarify to upload this document. Applications are the basic building blocks for creating projects on the Clarify platform. Your data, annotations, models, predictions, and searches are contained within applications. Once you upload the documents to the Clarify application, it will embed the data and index the embeddings based on your base workflow. You can then use those embeddings to query for similarity. Now get your user ID and app ID. If you are already signed up to the platform, you can find your user ID under the account option in the settings. To get an app ID, you can create a new app using the Python SDK. Make sure you set the personal access token as an environment variable. Initialize the Clarify client by importing user from the client.user module and passing your user ID. Use the create app method and pass the app ID that you would like to use and set the base workflow as general text embedding model. This is really key as the data will be embedded based on your base workflow. Since the data type here is text, 
passing the text embedding workflow. Run it. Now a new Clarify app with the name RAG has been created. To create an app, you can also go to the Clarify page on the top right click on Create a New Application. Just enter the app ID, a short description, select the input type, text in this case, and you can see the base workflow set to the general text embedding. Now using the From Documents function, let's create the Clarify Vector Store by passing the user ID, app ID, documents, personal access token, and number of docs. Here, I am passing the number of docs as three, which will return three most relevant docs based on the similarity search from the vector store. Run it. The vector store has been created. You can now search through the documents for similarity using the similarity search method. I have given the word Vladimir Putin, and you can see it returned the top three docs related to that term. Now let's implement generative QA. For that, let's import Clarify from langchain.llms to access LLMs from the Clarify community and Retrieval QA from Langchain.chains. Retrieval QA helps to retrieve external data from the vector store based on the input prompt and then pass it to the LLM when doing the generation step. Now you need an LLM for generation. I am using GPT 3.5 Turbo from the Clarify community. In order to use the model past the user ID, app ID, and model ID. For the GPT 3.5 Turbo model, the user ID is OpenAI, the app ID is chat completion, and the model ID is GPT 3.5 Turbo. Let's initialize the LLM. Now, I am chaining the LLM with the vector store using retrieval QA and passing the chain type as stuff. Langchain has multiple document processing chains, such as stuff, refine, MapReduce, map re-rank. Here we are using stuff chain, which includes a document into its prompt context and then exposes the question to the LLM. Now if you pass any question, the vector store will use it to find the similar match and the GPT 3.5 turbo model will use it to answer the question. Here I am passing the question. According to the document, what did Vladimir Putin miscalculate? And here is the response from the LLM. This is how you can implement the retrieval augmented generation on LLMs. Compared to building your own foundation model or fine-tuning an existing model for context-specific issues, RAG is cost-effective and easier to implement. You can find the link to the Colab notebook below to implement this. Thanks for watching.